hammered spot at the park just keeps producing and then the day just keeps getting weirder. Hey, welcome everybody. This day starts off with my best coin find of the year. And then after that, I can't seem to identify anything. If you're new here, please be sure to like, subscribe and comment down below for a giveaway on Thursday night. Hey, good morning, everybody. Just a quick heads up. The grass is growing on this side field at the park where we were just recently at. Um, Kurt and I decided to swing back out here and, and try to hit it one more time where the grass gets too high. Hopefully pull out another couple good targets and then we'll have to wait again until it grass dies because I don't think they'll mow it again. They mowed right here. I haven't mowed up there. Uh, see you guys on the first target that I find decent. The last target was a big bleh. So I didn't finish recording it after I popped it out. Probably won't even talk about it. Um, yeah. So it's very coppery, brassy. It's got a, some kind of a tint to it. It's got a, a slot right here that something slid through it. So it's like a maybe some kind of a belt buckle in a sense. But it's not what I'm used to seeing. I'll have to finish cleaning it up and uh, show it but it's, uh, it's definitely older and it's copper so at the end of the day it's still a good piece of scrap but I'm not sure what it is it looks like it had a strap on each end of it I hope there's something on it so I can ID it anyway I think it's a decent target not sure what it is I had to pull a foundation rock from one of the old houses down here to get it so um, it better be something good <music> shotgun casing but I think there's something else here hoping not but this could be a major bazinga or it could be something really good see that it is round I think I did nick it a little let's uh, see what it is oh it's big and it's round oh man please let this be something good I got my glove off here. Let's set this right here. Oh man, come on, daddy. Be something good. It's definitely old and green. I can't see any detail on it yet. Anyway, I'm gonna clean this up real carefully and I'll be back with something good. Oh dude, it's been such a long time. I can barely see it coming through. I can see the date on there. It's an, it's an 1821 Largy. Oh, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, I see 1821 on it. Regardless, that's, that's my oldest US coin, no matter what. I'm gonna scrape away some of this dirt here. 1821 Largy. Anyway, there she is. I'll have a good picture after I get it cleaned up properly gonna show Curtis and I'm gonna go away <laughs> I got to get the back the back is really roached yes sure I got multiple signals in the hole this is some kind of a uh, it's got a clasp with two tabs on the end and then it's got a, a, an attach point right here some kind of a, a like a, a clasp or a latch of some sort to something anyway it's kind of cool I'm gonna stick that in the in the good fine pocket but I still got another target I'll be back when I find it I got a higher tone kind of like that largely it's really close yeah Kirk comes walking over with something round and flat and but it's got a hole in the center and it looks like it's got a tab, like it was some kind of a tag where it's broke off, but it's definitely old. Well, this is a part we've never really hammered. We've hammered the spot where we were always finding coins and, that, and such. 
can't tell if it's got anything on it, but I see some green, so, and it's definitely got a hole in the middle. I can't tell you what it's for or what it is, but would have scared me coming out of the ground. <laughs> so I just keep bouncing around the same area, and I got another, looks like a coin in the hole. I've been, I got tricked once already. There it is. Uh, uh, maybe it's, ooh. Oh, it's uh, gosh dang it! No, it's a it's a clad quarter. Anyway, hey, first piece of clad for the day. So Kurt's got a, a weird piece here. It's a uh, round and it's got little notches on the outside, on this side, and it looks brass. On the other side, it looks like a fired piece of lead. See that? I guess that's the thing with you know old stuff when you don't exactly know how it was manufactured back in the day things look probably pretty confusing because you've never seen anything like it so it's another one that i've never seen anything like but i'll take original stuff every time that's the kind of stuff that's fun to find i'll see you on the next nice job kurt looks good today is getting just weirder by the second I got big and round, but it's some kind of a, maybe a watch gear, but it's so green. Check this out. Oh, you know what it looks like? It looks like it's part of the inside of a gun. I mean, I know it's probably not because I don't know nothing about that kind of stuff. You look at that. It's got six holes, one in the center, and it's a... Uh, yeah, look at that. I don't, I'm not sure. I'm sure somebody will know because some of this stuff like this, I don't, I'm not very good at. But I thought it was like, like a clock gear at first. But yeah, it's got six holes. And then it's got one in the center. They're all pretty even sized. And it is a gear. I think this stuff's cool. I did ding it. You've seen that right there. But anyway, I, I'm happy to have it something i've never seen before so makes it pretty cool all right see you guys on the next yeah so we were bang teetering on another high tone all the way down there about 14 inches deep and i dug another huge axe head today oh my gosh i keep finding stuff for myself to restore this one's big and uh it's been down there a while anyway still going at it a lot of weird targets today Hopefully we find one or two more good ones before we head out. Another shot again casing today. This one's an old Winchester. It's fairly black. It looks a little different than most of them that I've been finding. So I will, since I can read it and identify it, I'll clean it up and find something, some information on it. So we spent half a day down at the park this morning. The other half, this house may confuse you but it's actually been here since about 1860. Uh, you can't see it's been totally remodeled the front and the found it and the frame is still the same, but it is an 18, early 1860s home. We have a side lot here all the way up to that fence, all the way back to the next house almost. And this lot across the street here as well. Uh, the man owns all of it, all the way up to right next to that house. Uh, we're gonna be here today for a while and then probably back again on Saturday. So first target at the new spot is a coin. Looks like a penny, I think. It's definitely a greenie. Huh. It's green, it's a memorial. Uh, can't see a date on it like that, but anyway, that's a good target. Moved into the side yard a little bit. Looks like a second target fence is going to be a nickel. We're hoping for a buffalo or maybe a bee. But we're going to get a Jefferson. So far, nothing too old to come out of the ground. A little piece of a, like an oil lantern and uh, an old, not super old, but a lead fishing weight for first. Hey, once again, I'd like to thank everybody for hanging out tonight. Also, up next at We Dig It, their premiere will be starting shortly right after this one. 
and also Gene and Gene for sure this Thursday will be my guest on Thursday Thursday I hope to see you there be sure to comment down below to be entered in the drawing for Thursday night thank you everybody I totally appreciate you being here